What's up guys? So we just got back from Vegas. We went down for SEMA, put about 5,000 kilometers on the, on the V70R. Um, steady bearing was kind of not the happiest when we went, but uh, cruising for hours on end at 80 miles an hour down the interstate, uh, it kind of got worse. So when we were down there, the steady bearing was doing a pretty heavy thumping or uh, rumbling kind of noise when you're accelerating or decelerating usually about 20 to 40 kilometers an hour so we made it back no problem it was good on the highway um, but we're gonna lift it up on the hoist and see if we can change out the steady bearing so we got the car up on the hoist here's uh, a look underneath Couple of leaks. It's like a Harley. Uh, there's a new addition that we did before we went to Vegas. It was just a bit too loud and droney. So I added a Borla 3 inch to the exhaust. So it's 3 inch pipe, dual uh, Magnaflow kind of glass pack dealies. Surprisingly, this thing is very loud for just being. Uh, Five cylinder with a three inch exhaust. I thought the turbo would kill a lot of noise, but it rumbles pretty good. Anyway, so here's our rear diff. Uh, viscous coupling also has a leak, and there's our two piece drive shaft. So steady bearings in the middle right there, and you can see she's lunched. So under slight load or decel, it's just thumping like this, and uh, nothing good can come of that gonna take out some pieces so we're gonna get the drive shaft out and uh, see if we can pull that apart and replace it so it's got these flanges with uh, six allen head bolts on either side so front and rear we'll pull those out and remove the shaft So we got the drive shaft out and here is our steady bearing. So it is uh, obviously not supposed to be like that. Now we just got to pull the shaft apart and uh, get the new piece on. The U-joint is actually beat to hell too. Poop. Coming apart. That's no good. Oh. Ugh. That would be a contributing factor. Back. I have a steady bearing, but I don't have a U joint, so I gotta see if I can get the U joint. Oh, well, we'll get it apart. So I hammered the U-joint apart. Um, there's one of the U-joint caps and I didn't break that. That actually was worn through because it tossed the rollers. Uh, there's the rest of the U-joint the cross. It's pretty pooched. Now, problem with these U-joints is you can see over here, this is staked in place by the from the factory. So this is technically a non-serviceable U-joint. So hopefully there's an aftermarket fix that changes this to a C-clip style. Uh, I'll do some digging, we'll find out. But for now, I'll uh, get this yoke off of the shaft 
and we'll see if we can at least get the steady bearing changed. So there is the end of the shaft. Steady bearing sits right there. I cut the mount and the, the steady bearing inner and outer race apart just with an angle grinder and a chisel. And this should be a slip yoke, so this should pull apart, but I'm having a bitch of a time trying to get it apart because it's rusted and seized and I don't have a press. So we'll see, got some Weasel piss there, some WD-40 soaking. So hopefully I can use some heat and maybe the penetrating fluid and try and get that freed up and hammered apart. So there's the slip yoke out, there's the splines, uh, there's a little snap ring inside the end of the, on focus, there you go. There's a little snap ring in there. So once we got it moving, it came out fairly easily. So I got to do some research and see if I can get a, an aftermarket U-joint for this thing before I hammer that new steady bearing on. What's up everyone? So just on Rock Auto, um, I did a bunch of research online, made a bunch of phone calls, talked to the local drive shaft uh, shop in town, and you can't get Fuck all for a Volvo V70 all-wheel drive U-joint. Um, my only option is a complete drive shaft, and on Rock Auto, the cheapest one is 600 bucks, and it goes up to almost a thousand bucks. I didn't even bother the dealership price on the drive shaft. Uh, dealership has nothing, no no U-joint even listed. So I was hoping that the aftermarket had a replacement U-joint that converted the non-serviceable factory staked one to the C-clip style. Um, I know Mazda, Toyota, um, Nissan, it was pretty common that there was an aftermarket fix like that, but I guess there's just not that many Volvos out there for them to justify it. So my fix for now <clears throat> is I just uh, pulled the drive shaft out like you guys saw, I left it out. So cars front wheel drive now um, we'll watch the junkyards I don't know if I want to swallow six hundred dollars to to get the car all-wheel drive again so we'll see what happens oh well that's how she goes give it a like and a follow and some nice and friendly positive comments catch you later